Oh man! <laughs> oh my god, look at it! It's so beautiful! I love it! <laughs> Alright lads, here we go! This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. Oh my god, this is just like the intro you guys made! Holy frick! It was a pros prosperous land blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found a golden power and look, and took it for himself. With its strength and his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, A young boy, clothed in green, appeared, as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. Oh, the music's already hitting me, dude. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its dark designs. The people believed that the hero of time would once again come to save them. But the hero did not appear. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of faith. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. What? <laughs> Imagine! Here, put this on. You're now the hero of time. <laughs> Clothed in the green of fields, they aspire to find heroic blades and cast down evil. Oh my god! These poor kids! She's like, here, you're a boy, here, put on this green tunic. Now, wield this blade and take on the evils. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. That sucks. <laughs> oh, look at this. I've always been so curious and keen to see this art style. It's completely different to anything that we've played so far. So let's let's get into this. Oi! 
Big brother! Oh, it's the seagulls. What are you doing, you little shits? Big brother! What the fuck are you? I love that. Oi! <laughs> oh, is that me? Is that me? Big brother! Oh, look. <laughs> he doesn't have a bed either. <laughs> Hey, what you want? What's all the racket about? Hey, where'd you go? I knew you'd be here. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out to see. When I play with the gulls, I call it Ariel's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? <laughs> no, she don't sound like Mickey Mouse. Don't fucking say it. Uh, today? Uh, it's my birthday? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Uh, a little bit. Did you forget? Did you forget what? Big brother, it's your bro <laughs> It's actually my fucking birthday! It's meant to be! I meant to play this game, I think. <laughs> it's actually my birthday, I was only taking the piss. That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. Sorry, I just nodded off a little bit. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Oh, 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 oh look at me. Oh, look at it. Hey, seagulls. How's it going? Do you like me lobster tunic? I like me lobster tunic too. Can I jump? Can I? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. To see me! Hurry up, big brother. Grandma's waiting for you back at the house. And I'm sure everyone else in the island wants to say hello to you, too. Alright, cool. Rolling around at the speed of soon. I'm gonna see Grandma, cause it's my fucking birthday. Alright. Wait, which house do I need to go to? I want to explore. It's so beautiful. It's so lovely and warm. Mama! Papa! Too soon? Perhaps too soon. Yeah. Piggy! Piggy! I can pick him up. Oh! oh. <laughs> Piggy! Come here, Piggy! Get. Ah, goddammit! Piggy! Stay still, goddammit! Aye! Aye! Yeah! Oh, my, I can throw the pig? Hey! What are you doing with my pig? Uh, no, nothing. Uh, absolutely nothing. Put my pig down! Sorry about that. There, there's your pig. Let's go in here. What are you doing in my house? <laughs> Typical Link, you know, just just doesn't know boundaries whatsoever. All right. <clears throat> Rubies! Piggy! Don't you fucking dare. Hey, hey, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. What were you doing in my house, by the way? Hey, you know, just stuff. Hey, kid. How's it going? Hi, Link. Hey, is it true if you just have a little curry to run as fast as you can? Then you can jump to that rock out there. Huh? Is it? Tell me! Why don't you give it a try? Let me show you. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Oh. Did you see me, did you? Wow, Link, you're amazing! Yeah, I know. Yep. Tell me about it. Yep. I know, I'm just amazing, you know? Alright, let's go this way. Wait a minute. Can I swim? Yep. I can swim! Yes! This is awesome! Look at my little head! I'm so cute! No. No. No! No! Is that... Beano! Yep. Oh my god. Be Beano! Oh. oh, a customer! Welcome back to Beano's Shop Ship! Oh my god, Beano! I'm so happy to see you. I deal with pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you need? If you do, show it to me. I'll be your top rupees for your junk. Or do you see anything you'd like to buy? Or just, you know, use, use the L stick to, to browse around and stuff. This is a big bag. Looks like a pig for some reason. It's quite useful. And it's the very last one. You can, you can buy bait if you don't have a bag like this. How, how much is it? Oh, it's 20 rupees. is a bit excessive. All-purpose bait. It's three servings, actually. 
Good things happen to those who feed the stuffed animals. Do you have a paint bag? Is your fighter a customer of mine? Um, <laughs> I said zero five. Oh, oh, fine, customer of mine. <laughs> Thirty rupees. You you, you can't buy this anywhere else. Only here. I'm serious. Now's your chance. Bye bye bye. Uh oh. A uh, hoi pa a pair. <laughs> all right. No, you're all right for bye. now, Beetle. Come again. I will, Beetle. It's so great to see you, man. Trust me. When I get more money, I'll definitely invest in your shop and buy some stuff. Okay. Oh, Link, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Hey, did your sister Ariel find you? She was supposed to tell you that your grandmother is looking for you. Yeah, she told me, Ari. Speaking of your sister, she saw me at work the other day and she said she wanted to learn to carry jazz on her head. Like me, so she, she could help your grandma with chores. So if you see her, tell her that all she has to do is stand in front of a jar and press A. Pr press A? What? It's not a video game, love. What are you talking about? You can tell her that for me. All right. Okay. Whoa! It's a wizard! Hey! Ew! Get away from me with your snot! What are you doing? What? What is that? Ah! What's in here? Ooh! More beef. Oh, look! It's me and my little sis! That's adorable. What's up here? Oh! Grandma! It, uh, I finally arrived! Ah, <laughs> oh, shite, Grandma. Is it really that time, is it? I've been waiting for you, Link. I, I'm not ready to take on the evils out there, Grandma. Uh, I'm still too young. Link, now, now. Try these on. Oh, please, do I have to? I don't want to wear green. Do I have the last kid? Time certainly flies, Sonny. I, I, I believe you are already old enough to wear these clothes. No, 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 Grandma. Trust me. You just forgot. I, I'm not that age yet. <laughs> I should also wear them. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> it says it all. You got the hero's clothes. It looked like they might be a little warm for this weather. Did you want have them, Grandma? Don't look so disappointed. Do you want? Just try them on. Today's the day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of all the legends. Yeah. Where is he now, eh? You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be put out, child. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them, prepare them for battles with their enemies. Yeah, Grandma. The olden days. The olden days. We're in the present now. We don't need to do this. I just want to scroll on Twitter all day and play video games. Can I not do that instead? No, oh, no. Shut up, Link. We don't live in such an age any longer, I know. But our ways are the ways of peace. We're old-fashioned ways, if you ask me. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has has been carried down from those days also. Oh, jeez, it fits. Why does it have to fit? Why does it look like a dress, Grandma? Does all this make sense to you? Uh, I suppose so. I don't want to wear these. Isn't that nice, Link? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better get started getting ready if I were you. Oh, no, sorry. So I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, sure. Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for tonight. Mmm. Oh, no. <laughs> I just know you're looking forward to it. Yeah, you can say that. No. Go get your sister, Ariel. Oi. Oi, Link. Press the ear right there and you say to talk to me. Try it. That's correct. So you're a smart one. You, my friend, have just targeted me. You see, when you press the L, you can talk on certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often to talk to folks who are so far away. You're not exactly far away. You're just, you know, you're just up there. Oh, Jesus, there you are. How's it going? Jesus, you got a massive head. I mean, how are you doing today? So soon? My, my, my. If you're already old enough to be wearing those clothes. Look, I don't want to wear them. You just don't give me a choice. Then it's going to be very important for you to gather as much wisdom as you can from now on. If you, if you're to make your way into the world that is Link, 
Now I've been studying a wealth of topics since long before you were born. I'm uh, what you'd call a brain of all trades. <laughs> no. Shut your racket! Can't you keep quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves, you drafted hooligan! Honestly, a hooligan I'm referring to is my younger and much less intelligent brother who lives just downstairs. He hates studying all day, every day. The loot just exercises and practices with his weapons. Does he exercise his brain? No! The brain's a muscle too, uh, I think. Anyway, the only thing he does is study the art of fighting. Right now, for instance, he's been studying fencing and whatnot. As if that's of any use to anyone. All your knowledge and stuff is, is cool and all, but I'm just gonna go this way if that's all right. Oh, Link, is that you? If I recall correctly, today you are, today you are the same age as the... Uh, the li- the... What was it again? Oh, the legendary hero, that's it. Where did, where did you get so old? Hey! That's where it's coming from you, Gandalf. You must build strong muscles from now on. Strong muscles! You have come at the perfect moment. I was just trying my rolling attack. Allow me to teach it to you. Are you ready? Just run as fast as you can and then press A. That is how you perform a rolling attack. If you think you can understand, then try to roll into the wall. Go on, young one. You, what, do you to, what do you want me to roll into? You want me to roll into these parts? What wall do you want me to roll into? Any wall? Ow! Ah, such a racket! Can you keep it quiet? You've knocked everything off my shelves again! You dratted hooligan! Ah, my brother upstairs is very high strung. He's the way of knowledge. He locks himself in the room and studies all day. He's quite wise, but with a big head of his, he is hardly accommodating. On top of it all, he's so very feeble. At times, I am ashamed to call him my brother. But enough of that, Link. I sense your natural talent that beats in your veins. But you need more than talent to make it in this world today. You must also be bold. And to that end, I shall teach you the art of swordplay. Oh, he's getting serious. Oh, very good. Your first lesson shall be horizontal slice. Face me. I press B. Do not fear. My safety. I am ready. Ah! Yeah! See that? Did you like that? Oh. I was press. I was press. Oh, just like that. Oh, right. So don't aim. Sorry about that. Good. Keep coming at me until you hear me say, very good. All right. Ah! 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 Very good. Next is vertical slice. Hold the L and target me and then press B. Keep swinging. Oh, I love the music. Very good. Next is the thrust. Target the L and then tilt L forward. L tilt L toward me and press B. Very good. Keep thrusting. Ooh, I like the swordplay in this. Good, that is enough. It is as I foresaw. One day you shall become a master of the sword, but it's still too soon to give you a sword to carry around with you. Ah, oh, come on! I'm afraid I cannot give you one yet. If I did give you one, I am certain your grandmother would be quite upset with me. And I do not need that right now. But if for any reason you feel you need more training, then come to see me again. Oh, but... Yes, Sensei. Ooh. What's that? The Knight's Crest. Does that intrigue you, young one? Yes, can I have it? It is still too early to discuss such things with you. But if you happen to cross ten of those, show them to me, then I can tell you what they are. And what they do, but I will only speak if you get ten of them. What? 
Good morning. Welcome to the island postal service. What do you have for delivery? You can speak? You're a post box. Can I get a large Big Mac meal, please? Um, I'll get a portion of chicken nuggets and uh, what else? Uh, a large diet coke. That'd be great. Thanks. They send this to the postal service. Not a takeaway machine. No, fed off. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. I just saw a, a wild, a wild pig. Oh, I see. Look at that. Look at that black one there. Don't you see him? You ready to grab it, Link? Now, you can't just run up to it. Pigs are too alert to their surroundings. For you to just jog up and capture one. Oh, well, I know a thing or two about capturing pigs already, actually. Oh my god, look at me. <laughs> oh, I see it. Oh, I got it. Don't you worry. I got this. Don't you be worrying. Uh, can I can I crawl in the grass? I got a minute. Watch me. No! No, no! Get back here! I got him! <laughs> here you go! Well, you had your chance! Right. Get back here! Get! Get! Yeah. Here! I got you your pig! Do not want it! <laughs> What do you want me to do with this pig? Look! I got him! Here! Here's your pig! Do not want him, like! Here's your pig! What do you want to- Right, fine, egg. Just you bring my pig with me. Come on, bee. What's in here? Is this a secret room? <gasps> a chest! I got a red rupee! Yes! I got 42 rupees now! I'm rich! Hey! Get away from her! Oh! Ho oh, hoi, boy! Big brother! <laughs> did, did Grandma make that outfit for you? I guess so. Well, well, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. Yep. I'm feckin' Ralston. I guess they're pretty neat, though. Oh, uh, well, if you think so, then I suppose it's not too bad. <laughs> So, anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hands just, just for a second? Okay. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! Oh, you're giving me a little telescope! Oh, it's so cute! This is your sister's most pre precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. I will. So, well, do you like it? I love it! I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> yep. Ooh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over there uh, at our house. Okay, so. Oh, okay. So we can set this to Y. Oh, <gasps> cool. Oh, we can zoom in. Oh, cool. Wait, who's that? Are you using the zoom in? Because you should be. I am zooming in. Postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? That's the postman? Ah, Link! This guy, look up the sky! Whoa! What is... Who's that? Is that a giant rooster? Pirates! What? Why is there pirates? And why is there a giant legendary bird? Oh! Oh crap! Hey, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. 
It's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so maybe we should just leave it then, yeah? And just, you know, enjoy my birthday and all that. No, get away from me, booger kid! Hey! Timmy! Give me your stick! I, I need your stick! Well, I hope I'll be able to jump like you someday, Link! Give me your stick, I need it! Uh, okay, fine, I'll get my own stick. Hey! Grandma! 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 Pirates! Grandma, woman! Sky! Giant chicken! Uh, uh, it, there's so much to process! What's the, what's the matter, Link? What's happened? I, I just told you! Giant... Ah, oh, fuck it! Where's Erin? I know she's a good girl who behaves herself, but she's still just a child. You mustn't let her eyes off. Let your eyes off her. Yeah, but but she. Ah, come on. Fine, I'll go back and get her. Hey, Grandma wants you. What? What are you going to do if you go into the forest and the big bird attacks you? You need something to fight with it. God damn it! You just. With somebody, will you just come on? Hey, hey, Grandmaster, I'm gonna need a weapon. Ew, what's the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Yes. Giant chicken. Pirates. God, oh, it's too much to process. Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect is, is no laughing matter. What say you, Link? Woman. Sky. Legendary bird. It's too much. <laughs> ah, you have come to your serious con in instruction in the way of the sword? Yes. 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 Come on. Can we get this train done all right? I'm ready. Come on. Very good. A first lesson, horizontal slice. You got it. Okay. Very good. You got it. Keep swinging. Keep thrusting! Thrust, thrust, thrust! Thrust, 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 thrust! Ha! Very good! Ah! Next is harder. This is a parry attack. Target CL until you, you see A. Okay. Whoa! Very good! Now again! Good, now finally, the jump attack. Draw your sword and target and press A. Ah! Come at me once more! Yeah! Ah! That was a fine display! I'm so proud! And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold. An eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded on the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened. But I have faith in you somehow. I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Yes! I've got the hero sword! I'm ready to be the hero of time. God damn it, I didn't want to be. Grandma, Grandma, Grandma. Grandma, sister's okay. Link, what is that thing that you have on your back? It's a sword. Do you like it? Why are you carrying kind of dangerous thing like that around? Because, you know, I'm the hero. You said he... Oh, do you never mind? <laughs> Yo! The forest parts are closed until suspension bridge repairs are complete. Ah, screw that! Chop the grass! Chop it! Fairy fountain say ahead. Increase your fortune. <gasps> Gonna jump it. Yep. Oh, I made it. Is that all? Seriously, that's the only thing that's wrong with the bridge? What's taking so long to fix that? There she is. Ahoy there. Ah! You saw nothing. Whoa. 
Yeah! <gasps> A Ganon poop? Got a rupee. I got 90 rupees now. Oh. We... Pick up? What? Are you taking a piss? Do you really think? I know. You're not there yet, Link. Oh, no. All right, lads. How are you? Yeah! Did you like that? She's awake! She's awake! Oh! Ouch! Hey, hey, hey! How's it going? Wow! Uh, what's with that get up? Well, whatever. Um, where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Oh! Miss! Miss Tetra! What? Who's this lad? Oh, <laughs> thank... Thank goodness! You're safe! When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought you were sure... You'd... Uh, you'd be... Summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of the... of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it? Well, don't just stand there, let's go! Time to repay our debt to that bird in full! But... but miss! What about this boy? Ah, uh, you can leave me. I... I didn't even want to be here anyway. Don't worry about him, come on! Alright, I came over here to save your ass. And I'm gonna come with you! <laughs> Sis, what are you doing? Hey! You shouldn't be up there. What are you doing? Oh! No, 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 no! Don't cross the bridge! Don't cross the bridge! Oh, no! Giant chicken! No! Brother! Come back here, you big chicken! Ah! Ah, let go of me! Let go! I want to get my sister! You stupid kid! Get a hold of yourself! She's gone! There's nothing you can do! Oh no! Errol! What? You want to come with us on our ship? Yes. I need to get me sister back. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know? Pirates, the terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what, we get a headache. I know you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? Hey. And how do you figure that, eh? Mr. Postman! Uh, 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 whoa there, just... Who are you? Why do you get off putting in on someone else's conversation, eh? Please, all I mean is to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment, and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst many different islands, and as a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped and never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, this young girl who has just been kidnapped from this island also has long ears. Does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. 
My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you. And that's why it grabbed her. And... I mean... And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Link here who saved you from the monsters in the forest. Wasn't it? No flies on this lad. Is this true? Yes, it is true. Why is he here there, just wearing this green outfit for nothing? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Link's sister has made its foul nest to the north of the heights, the Forsaken Forest. The Forsaken Forest? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Link a little help now, would it? Mm, I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it lately, I've, I've heard nothing but evil rumors about a vacation for Forsaken for Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid! I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with. Anything. I can think of something. Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Grandma! 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 Big chicken! Little sister! <laughs> what, what is it, Link? Please tell Grandma what's troubling you! What, uh, where's Ariel? Is, is she still playing outside with the girls? E yeah? Ah, bollocks! Grandma, what's she doing with the shield, eh? For feck's sake! Link? Is this what you're looking for? Um... Yeah? Take it with you. This is a legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Sorry for the Captain Ginyu pose there, Grandma. I guess it is true. Erin really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? She has, Grandma. But I will make it my mission to save her, I promise. What kind of monster could take such a sweet young girl? It's my fault, Grandma. I let her out of my sight like you said I would. <laughs> I will save her, I promise you. Ew, evil. I'll be back, Grandma! I'll be back! I'm going on an adventure! Now! Are we going on an adventure or what? Wow, oh, that's that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you want to still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Oh, you're a bit mean, aren't you? <laughs> well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Not yet. Well, hurry up already. If you take much longer, we're going to leave without you. Who the feck is that lad? And when did he get here? Who are you? Uh, uh, I, sure, I, I, are you going to be our new pirate, Swabby? Uh, am I what? Because any new Swabby reports to me, all right? Yes, this means I don't have to wash the other pirates' dirty underpants no more. <laughs> I ain't washing anybody's underpants, you got it? I want to go talk to Beetle. Beetle! 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 Hey, Beetle. I got some money now. Oh, hey, customer. Welcome to Beetle Ship Shop. Uh, uh Shop Ship. Uh, I can't really ever get that right. I did pretty much anything and everything. Have a look around. Uh, let's have a look and see then, yeah? Here you go. There's a paper bag and a uh, purpose plate and uh, a holy bear. Uh, a holy bear? <laughs> we'll buy the holy pear. Fuck it. Let's buy it. YOLO. You can't buy bait if you don't have a bait bag. Uh, oh, that's bait? Well, you could have you told me that. I'll buy a bait bag. Yeah. 
I got, I got, I got, I got a big bag. You're the greatest. I'll never forget you. I'm going to make a member's card just for you when you buy lots of things and build up your points. Something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind to his customers. No order. Okay, okay, fine. One point saved up. Yes. Okay. I want to get some all-purpose bait. Oh, it's 20 rupees. And it's only 10 rupees for this. Oh, we'll get this. Yes. Thank you. All right, we'll get this as well. I got a whole pair. I got three points. Excellent. Bye. Bye, Bye Beetle. All right, let's go. I'm ready. Here we go. Good luck, Link. Good luck finding Harry. Take care of yourself. I will. Thanks. I didn't ask for any of this, you know. Grandma! How much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? We're on the ship! Cool! Who's this? Hmm, that Nico didn't make out half bad with you being the new Swabby at all. New Swabbies always get stuck in the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey. I'll tell you, if you sure sound like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder, you bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it, I'm sure you'll do just fine. So long as you don't disobey him. Oh, whatever. All right. I'll do whatever it takes. Oh, so your name is Link, right? <laughs> That's one weird getup you got on there. So what's the deal? Is that popular back on your island or what? Yeah, it is, actually. It's, it's the tunic of a hero. Now that I think about it, though, I think I've seen an outfit like that before somewhere. Have you now? It's you. What do you want? Ooh, well now, hold there, Swabby. I should stay. <laughs> I'm your superior, Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you, so you do as I say, okay? Right, now, first of all, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy. So get ready. Oh, feck. Here we go. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the old easy part. Just walk up onto it and uh, press it. All right. Now, check it out! After the platform rise up on the floor, you gotta jump on it. Alright, fine! Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself, but that next one is too far, right? That's when you got to do this! Alright, fine! You're gonna go. Whoa! If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use uh, this to swing. Alright, yeah, okay, it's easy peasy. It'll probably take you at least one year before- Oh, shut up! I got this! Of course, if you manage to do it fast, I'll reward you! Here, don't underestimate me now, right? Do you want me to go on this switch? Alright, that deactivates it, okay. Easy! Watch me! What? What? You did it already? You bet your sweet arse I did. 
Who do you think you're talking to? Look at the tunic. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to have you as my, my underling. <laughs> <laughs> my reward. What is it? I got a spoils bag. You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. If you hold up to eight kinds of items. Oh. Cool. Oh, Link. We've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry up and get up here. What were you doing with Nico? I was just, you know, training. Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Um... No. Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed island known as Forsaken Fortress. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. Look, it's a giant chicken. What I do know is that long ago it used to be a hideout of a no-good group of pirates used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, uh, I knew it! Look! Over there, by that window! Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I bet you anything that this place is where they've got your little sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. It won't work. We'd be spotted before we go anywhere near the landing. Hmm. What do we do now? Out. What? I blacked out there for a second. How am I in a barrel all of a sudden? Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. I... Honestly, I, I don't trust you. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Yes, ma'am. Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're going to launch you good. Oh, shite. Away. Oh, oh my god! Me fucking sword! We made it to the Forsaken Fortress. Really? Did she really have to throw me that far? Now I don't have any weapon. Okay. Easy does it. We need to be real. <laughs> sword landed all the way up there. Shoot. I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. A little bit, yeah? <laughs> Look on your face. Priceless. <laughs> Whoa. I just pulled this out of my arse. What's this? I slipped this stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see A, you'd better press that button. I put the stone on your quest status screen. Use this on your item screen to take a look. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister. So don't go losing it. You understand? All right, then. Down to the brass tacks. The courtyard is awash with searchlights. So do you see... You right away if you just go charging in. Better think it through. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> We're gonna Metal Gear Solid this shit! We're gonna Solid Snake this shit! Oh, I got it! I got it! Woo! 
Woohoo! Oh. Look at this dude. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Phew! <laughs> oh man! That was close, wasn't it? Ah, bollocks! Fuck. No, no, stay away from me! <laughs> no, 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 it's just a barrel. That's all I am. Just a barrel. Just, just plain old barrel. That's it. That's all, really. You saw nothing, you heard nothing. I made it. Ha! I'm all stealthy and stuff. I see bats. I see bats. Stupid rat. Oh, for fuck's sake! Are you actually taking it? Fucking rats. Are you... Are you serious, are you? Let me out! Let... Let me out! Oh, hang on. I'm breaking out with his joint. Cool, look at this. Made it. And I'm out. What's in here? Shit. That button? Ow. Yes! What's in here? I got peaceful heart! Yes! Ah. You saw nothing! Go away from me! Look at these guys twerking. <laughs> Oh, man. Now, what's the story with this place? Ah! Ah! Who are you? What do you want? No, no, no. I don't want to... Ah. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. There's three of them now. Get away from me! Ah, you can't claim ladders. <laughs> oh crap, yes you can. Gotta get over there. Ready? No! What's in here? I got a compass! No, 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 no. <laughs> Get away from me! I made it! Jesus! This place is no joke, I tell you! Oh no. Oh, just, just damn rats here, dude. No! Oh god. Oh god, oh god! Oh, that was close! 
damn right ratting me out of it. <sighs> too close. I'm too close. Where's me sword at? You heard nothing. You heard nothing. Just keep twerking that way. Solid link is on the case. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. <laughs> well, shite. We're back here. Whoa. Excuse me, what? Why does that have laser eyes? I'll take that. Jesus! What's the deal with that? Eh? Oh, hang on. Oh, I wish now. Oh. Hey, listen! <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, that's not funny. I got you, Link. In order to reach the top of the tower, where your sister is being held, you'll have to find the room right below the tower. You gotta take the door to the outside, and then climb up there. You got that? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Listen up, Link. There's a monster r running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it just shut, shut the searchlight. Okay, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If, if I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see if you can make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you could pick up its weapon with A. But that's just me. Oh! Uh-oh. Ah. Oh god. Uh, 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 okay, got it. Uh, get some. Ha! Ah, come here, you. No, no, no. no. Whack! Whack him with a stick! Whack him! Whack him with a stick! Yes! I win! <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm biff. Hey, you like that? Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll disarm you. Ah, oh, she's gonna run. Cause I threw that one at him. Oh, he dropped it. Yes. Hey, come back. Come on, fight you to death. Yeah. In your face. All right, that's two down. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> Damn tour coblins. Dee dee dee. Billy. 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 Beating. Oh, no! Oh, fuck's sake, Link. Oh, you're so lucky there's a ladder here, boy. Oh, we got some hearts. B B T. B T T T T. B T T Billy. 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 Did it. Come on, Link, you mad joke. <laughs> I see me sword. I don't trust that thing. Me sword! Yes! Oh, fuck! Oh! Yes! 
Let's do it. Come on. Remember your training. Ah, bollocks. Ah! Yes! I win! Oh, there she is! Little sis! Oh, the music. What was that? What's that smell? Ah! I knew I smelled chicken. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. No! I was right there! Ah, come on! Oh my god, is that who I think it is? Ganon, I thought you were a myth! You got the wrong link! I know the clothes might be a little bit of a throw off, but. Ah, come on! Are you actually serious? <laughs> what? I went all the way up there for... For that! To be thrown back into the sea! Lads... <laughs> Link... Link... Wake up, Link! This sounds familiar. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Link! Where am I? Errol? What's this little boat? How do I get here? <laughs> well, have you come to your senses yet? Who said that? <laughs> ah! You're surprisingly dull-witted. You're a boat and you can speak. That makes no sense. How far did I fall? I landed on my head, didn't I? <laughs> Did I start to you? <laughs> I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who uh, who can speak the words of men. Plus, yeah, hell, it's terrifying. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear, I am not your enemy. Uh, all right, I'll take your word for it. Think. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress. To rescue your sister. And can you bring you back there, please? I was so close to saving her. I understand how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I suppose you saw him. The shadow that commands the monstrous bird. His name is... Voldemort. I mean, Ganon. <coughs> Sorry. I've been watching a lot of Harry Potter lately. Oh, right. Okay. He who obtained the power of the gods, attempted to cover the land in darkness, and was ultimately sealed away the, by, by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm, the ancient legends speak of. Same guy! Does he ever quit? I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now the Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Oh my god, dude! Nothing stops this guy! Tell me, Link. Do you still wish to save your sister from him? Sure do. And will you do anything to save her? Sure will. I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone but what little strength you possess. The key to defending, defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil 
and hardship. Do you understand? Yeah, I heard all the legends, the Master Sword and all that stuff, yeah? In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but uh, although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess, um, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. So it's the plank of wood floating on the ocean. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gates of the Forsaken Fortress. On this, on this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail I will be, well, useless to you. Well, I'll tell you, you better have a shanty or two. The island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in a handy during your endeavors at sea. So listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to pay. Uh, play. Excuse me. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. All right, Mr. Boat, sir. I'll go get you a sail and turn you into a boat again. All right. We're at Windfall Islands. Oh, look at all the people. Hello. What? Can't you see we're busy? I know we're super cute and all, but that doesn't mean you can't just come up and talk to us whenever you like. Jeepers. Jeez, you're a bit rude, aren't you? Maybe your friend is not as rude, hey? Why are you looking at us like we're aliens or something? Weird lot there? What? We're good girls. We don't spread rumors. I never said nothing about spread... Oh, you're all real weird up here, aren't you? Oh, if you please, young boy, now please help me. Help you with what? Please listen to my tale of woe. I don't have time for this. Oh, my sweet, sweet daughter, my only daughter, poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, I think I've seen her. Yeah. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they just roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mischief? Well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't get you a single rupee, you know? Please, please save my poor daughter, I beg of you. Here I stand begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress some good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh yes, pay. You know, with all this begging that you're doing for help, you could just beg for money if you're really stuck with some rupees. But yeah, I'll go save your daughter. Uh, Elvis? Ooh. No, that's not it. That's not, that's not it. And the problem is, even though that's, that's not it, this isn't it either. Oh. <clears throat> oh dear, pardon me, pardon me, guy. I was so fully and woefully observed in my dancing that I... Didn't even notice a little old you standing there. I'm... I'm taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world's charismatic dancer. Extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two. One, two. Ah, oh, shit. That's not it either. Say, you guy, you know what I just reminded me of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance. A dance that turned night into... In today, right before my eyes. I can't remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get the in intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm guy? Wouldn't know a thing you're talking about, but I'll take these rupees. Thanks very much. I see a button. I love all the familiar music as well. No. No. Yay! Hooray! Thank you so very much! No. <laughs> Tingle! How the frick are ya? Here is Tingle Hop, a gift of thanks. Become an item. Whoa! 
you're actually magical, Dingle. Not like the last Tingle I came across. Or are you insane when you actually just develop powers all of a sudden? I got a Tingle bottle. Yay! I could be just like Peter Parker. Using Meverse, you can insert a message you've written and send it out to sea for someone unknown to receive. Splendid! Tingle is returning now to his special island. Will you come find him? You have a special island? Ah, I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? I do, yeah. I got Tingle's chart. What kind of chart could it be? Head out to sea and then check out your charts on the map screen to find out. What? Open it on the map screen. If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't you ever forget it. Hulu. Oh, uh, uh. And if you'd like to give your Tingle bottles that little extra oof that all Tingles crave, you should check the back of the cell. Check it right out. Kulu limpa. Kulu limpa. Bye bye. All right, Tingle. It's great to see you. You can now send letters in Tingle bottles by using Meverse. Send your Tingle bottle to the letter of your own, and you can even use the Picto box and include a Pictograph. I'm pretty sure the Meverse is like no longer a thing now, right? Rip. Right, so what's in the back of the cell then? What was he talking about? Ooh! What's in there? <coughs> Don't ask. <gasps> Three. I got it. I got a picto box so I can take pictures now. Cool. I can take selfies. I got your picto box, Tingle. Hello, children. Hey, mister, what are you doing around here? This is our neighborhood. We don't take kindly to strangers, you know. All right. Don't be so hostile, like. You see me holding a sword and shield here, like. What are you looking at, bud? These kids are mean, man. These kids are really mean. Who are th who are these kids? Hey, get away from me! Hey, welcome. It's um ten rupees per game for kids. You wanna play or what? Suppose you wanna tell me what the game is. Yeah. Okay then. <clears throat> welcome to Z Fleet. I am the Great Admiral Dolowski. Look sharp, for we are the sole protectors of this island. You should really turn into character pretty quick, don't you? Admiral, red alert! All hands on deck! So now shows that schools of deadly giant squid are approaching. All ships prepare for battle! <laughs> what? Well, ah, uh, who? I see. The, the friends of approach. There are three groups of squids. A large one, a meaty one, and a small one. If he allows them to come any closer, the children on the island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to seek out the seek of all these friend fiendlessly. <laughs> oh my god. But be warned, you have only 24 cannonballs that in your confire. I'm playing Battleship. God, I haven't played Battleship in years. All right, let's. Let's go over here. Splish. Oh, fuck. Splish. Nothing there. All right. Damn it! <laughs> Sploosh! Alright, I'm gonna go for... I thought there was, like, meant to be... Okay. I can just go anywhere, then. Kaboom! Yes! Kaboom! Yes, we got a squid. Alright. Sploosh! 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 Damn it! Sploosh! Damn it! Sploosh! No! 
Splish. 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 Oh my god! Kaboom! Yes! Kaboom! Kaboom! Splish. Kaboom! Okay, one more. Splish. No! I'm not gonna get the high score. Splish. Shit. Where could this little one be? Splish. No! Splish. No! Splish. It's well hidden. Splish. Splish. No! It was right there! Oh, bad news, I say. The enemies have cheated or something like that. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. Want to try again? Yes! One more time! <coughs> okay then. <coughs> Exit so far, I heard it. Look, you can just. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Alright. Alright. Alright, we'll go well spread out here. Kaboom. Yes. Kaboom. No! Alright, we got one. Kaboom. Yes! Splish. Damn it! Alright, we got two already. We got two already. That's really good. Splish. Yes! Choose wisely. Kaboom. Kaboom. No! No, no! Kaboom. Yes! 20! We matched the high score! <laughs> Excellent work, Sailor! Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this fair island. We are so proud! The children on the island would like to thank you, Sailor. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Oh, thank you, Mr. Sailor! <laughs> <laughs> this guy, man, I should be paying into this lad a whole lot more. Please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude. You are so great! Yay! Woo! Yes! So, <clears throat> uh, thanks for playing and all that. I can uh, tell how fun it's been for me. And uh, don't forget your umbrella or nothing on your way out the door and all that stuff. Thanks. All right. Now. Oh. Hi there. You know, the thing may look like a windmill, but it's actually a wind-powered Ferris wheel. It's used to harness the wind's power to spin it quite a nifty manner. But we rarely get a favorable wind around here anymore, so it doesn't budge. I'm pretty sure it's not broken or anything, though, so if you wind blew it in the right uh, direction again, we just have to hit the, the power switch out back to get it moving. Hmm, it looks like a westerly wind is blowing now. Oh, so you must be the weatherman, is it? Can I go in here? Is that another door? Okay. Ooh, what's this red door? Oh, look at the music. Oh, look at this place. This is all fancy. Um, excuse me. Um, hello? Mm -hmm. I wonder. I wonder if a boy like you will do... Mm -hmm. It's difficult to tell, yes, difficult to see. My one and only daughter, Mila, was taken away from me to a frightening place called Forsaken Fortress. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I think I've seen her. Pretty sure I've seen her. I mean, there's many, don't ask you, huh? But it seems to be a difficult voyage to know all that cursed place. Oh, to see my sweet Mila again, my precious little daughter. I will so ever for her welfare. I don't recall the last time I slept more than a week. I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking a boy like you to do this. Hmm? But would you lend a hand to help rescue my precious daughter? Sure. Why not? Oh, you are a brave boy to take on this task. I assure you, if you do rescue her, I will pay you as much money as it takes. I'd give my entire fortune for her safety. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> I'll just take this snazzy house you got here. That'll do as payment for me. Thank you. Can I go down there? 
Way! Yeah. Whoa, chest! Yes! 154 rupees now, lads. Whoa, shiny pots! You little ways! Oh, Well, thank you so much for coming into my home and breaking my high priced faces! Ah, uh, bollocks. Here, look. You said you'd... You said you'd give your entire fortune if I save your daughter, alright? I'm sure we can come with some sort of compromise here. You break any more, I assure you that I shall not let it go lightly, sir. Not at all. I shall require compensation. Compensation, you say? Huh? Huh? You... <laughs> Don't... <laughs> oh, oh! Don't let me! I will! I will, you know. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Whoa! What? What? You scared? Are you scared? You think I'm gonna do it? <coughs> Sorry about that. Hello, hello. You are standing in one and only two jelly juice shop. Chew Jelly Juice Shop. Yeah, that's right. You must have heard. Our potions are to the best. I'm telling you, they're too good, in fact. They're absolutely incredible. Hmm. What's that? What's Chew Jelly, you ask? Looking somewhat bewildered? I mean, you could say that. <laughs> oh, sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what Chew Jelly is? <laughs> I guess I could say it's... It's too good to be true. <laughs> well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishment element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words chew jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why is it a key ingredient to the most effective potions around? All you have to do is... Bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir. Do you have an empty bottle? Do you know how difficult it is to come across empty bottles in Zelda games? They're like gold dust. This place is massive. There's so many characters to interact with. Huh. I'll take that. What the hell am I supposed to do exactly? Oh yeah, I need to go find a place to buy a sale. Why aren't you a suspicious looking fella? What's that thing? Do you sell sales? This would be the bomb shop. Oh, it's gone. Go and use this to look around. Uh, ex how much exactly? How much you. 10,000. 20. Is there like a shortage on supply or something? What's what's this about? Are you one of them scalpers I hear of? You got any PS5s? My ancestors and my ancestors have been making bombs for generations. Um, now it seems like I'm the only person left in the world who still works in the bomb industry. Oh, so there is a shortage on supplies. But oh, Jesus, I don't want them that badly. You can feck right off. Hey, you look like a man that might sell sales. You say you want to sail for a boat, is it? Tell me you're kidding me, Roy. Listen up here, laddie. Try using your head a little more. <laughs> what makes you think a blue like me, a guy who makes his living off the sea, would give away the very sailing gear he needs to survive? Look elsewhere, laddie. I didn't think you were actually going to answer my question, but, uh, cheers. All right. We have... He, he's not good to us. Oh... Hello there. My story is a strange one. I came across a cursed sea from the land far away, a land where the blizzards blow violently heading for a town called Windfall. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended, tore my ship to bits, yet mysteriously only that escaped without so much mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say as a traveler as well, you yes indeed could not, you not purchase that from me. It is my one and only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem to least be interested in that. 
despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their own town. Please, I beg of you. I wish to open a business here in the town, so I am in desperate need of finances. How does 80 rupees sound? I'll buy it! Yes, 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 thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Maybe I should have haggled a little bit. We're ready to travel the seven seas now, lads. All right. Oh, that look in your eye. So you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Yes, let's do it. Oh, whoa. All right, so wind directions this way. Whoa. <laughs> We're going on an adventure. Wow! This is so cool! What? And we can just chill. We can just chill here. Whoa! Hey! Oh god! Oh god! What's that about? Can I hit those? Woohoo! Yeah! Get all them rupees. Oh, this is so cool. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is just a dream. Beetle! Whoa, Beetle! Beetle, what are you, what are you doing here, Beetle? Hey, Beetle! Well, thank you as always. I appreciate your business. If you have anything you want to sell, show it to me and I'll buy it off you. Or if you prefer to buy something, then go right ahead. You just use this to browse, really. I'm alright. Okay, bye. Come again. Oh, Beetle, so good to see you, dude. See you later. <laughs> Got him. Oh, <gasps> yes. Special chest. Yes, red rupee. Oh, my God. We're going to be going on so many adventures together, lads. This is so cool. What do we gotta do? What do we gotta do? We gotta do backwards. Oh damn, missed the boat. Onward! Whoa. Whoa, what is that? What's up there? On the horizon. That is our destination link. Dragon Roost Island. High atop this island's peak lives the spirit of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. Valu the dragon? You must go see this dragon and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. You got it. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment there, Link. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of the sorts that was used long ago when the people played music in the prayer of the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be some of use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. So that's the Wind Waker. First conduct in three fourths time. Do not touch. Do just try to watch the rhythm by tilting the right stick. Okay.
Oh, right, right, hang on, hang on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, I get it. I get it now. I get it, I get it. I get it, I get it. Wait, wait, what? Very nice. That was splendid. Next is 4-4. Four, four. I got it. I got it. That's it, Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct it within 6-4... Six, 6-4 four, six four time by tilting. You would do well to remember that. So I got a Wind Waker. I received the legendary Wind Waker by using this magical conductor's baton. A baton. You can borrow, borrow, borrow the power of the gods. What's over here? Oh. I learned Wind's Requiem. Mm. Yeah, that's a mighty mile breeze. Who are you? Where'd you get that Nimbus Cloud? The name is Zephos. I'm the god of winds. Does my cloud not give it away? Mm. No. So you're the new Wind Waker, are you? Well, I never declared myself as as Wind Waker. Hmm. Great, great little beginner. You've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It sounds me to say that my brother Cyclox, Cyclos is miffed about this monument here being broken and now he uh, spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. See you later! Uh, Alright. Okay. Do not attack the explosive fruit. I'm not going to attack it. This is the Goron special crop. Oh god. I was meant to drop it, not There we go. Kaboom. What's over that side? Oh. Oops! Oops, I broke the sign! I didn't mean to do that! The Rito! Link! Link, is that... is that you? It is I! It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay! I must say... You've traveled far for one who no, with no wings. And your sister? Is she... No. I didn't save her. Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have no idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rito are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our heir. I've settled then. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come aside. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. <sighs> so I've been told by the mod team this is actually the first game where we're introduced to the Rito race. So that's amazing.
Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valu's anger? No, sir. Hello, you must be the chieftain. Ah, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything we can do to help. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon patched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by graces of the sky spirit Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of the dragon roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. Oh, man. It is this scale that enables Dorito to grow his own or her, or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valo has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are age will never be able to receive scales from Valu and Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? I will, yeah? Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Kamali who now? Let me direct my son Kamali. Is of the age to earn his wings. Yet he is weak in some ways and in light of the current situation he must give up on ever getting them. Oh man, no way. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? You bet your arse I will. Will you meet with my son? Yes, of course. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help with with yours. I have something I wish to give you. I wish for you to give my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. You can count on me. I won't let you down. Here, Link, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. A, a purse. You, you gave me a purse. All right, thanks. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great Valo to us. In the meanwhile, do our best to aid Prince Kamali. Yes, I will. You, ha you have my word. You have my words. That's going to be it for me. Smash follow if you're brand new. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Wind Waker. If you did, smash that like button. No, like seriously, hit the like button. It really means a lot. It helps the videos. It helps the channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, especially. And if you guys are watching here on Twitch, head over to YouTube. Hit the subscribe button over there. Let's keep chasing milestones this year. It's our main goal, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, lads and ladies. And as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy. I'll see you dudes in my next Wind Waker video. See you later, dudes.